Hey Cornerstone, so glad uh, that you're just tuning into this video. There's a few things that I want to share with you, partly about what God has done this year. This year has been an amazing year. Uh, he has done incredible work in and through the church, and you are a big part of that. Uh, recently, we've uh, done our Big Give Sunday from our missions offering, and uh, you guys have been so generous with that. We've had over $45,000 that was given to support our mission partner. So thank you so much uh, for giving towards that. Now, there's a few things I wanna share with you about um, what's coming up at Cornerstone. Some of it has to do with the farm and our new property there. Some of it has to do with our, our campus at Okatina stuff that's coming up. So the first is the farm. So we've had a team of people that's been meeting um, recently. They've been interviewing general contractors and those conversations have gone really, really well. And sometime after the first of the year, we think that we're gonna be able to uh, nail down which contractor it is that we wanna meet with and work with and continue working with. Um, so what I'm asking you to do is to pray. Would you pray for us? Would you pray for this team of people that's together? And would you also pray for the elders um, as we make that decision after the first of the year? So that's the first thing that's happening. Really, really good news. The second thing is um, we've had our stuff submitted to the town for a couple of months. And of course, I do have to warn you, things move slower here in the slow country. And so um, things at the town are progressing. They're moving forward. We've actually received some good news recently about uh, some of the stuff on our property, but we don't have the final word yet, and that's okay. We're waiting. We, we believe totally in God's timing, the stuff that he's working on. Um, so we expect that sometime after the first of the year that we'll have a, a formal meeting with the town where we'll begin talking about our planned unit development and, um, and the things that we want to put in that PUD document and what they want us to take out of that PUD document and all that stuff. And, uh, and so please be praying for that too. We're asking you specifically to pray for God's favor, um, that we would have favor with them as we meet with them and as we continue to move forward. One of the other things that we're really excited about is uh, the move that the Okati campus is making. And I will admit, I wanna be honest, um, the fall has been a little disappointing um, because we were hoping to be in the Gold Soccer Center uh, long before today, um, but that didn't happen and that's okay. We're still trusting God's timing. We know that God works all those things out and we are, we are really excited about what's to come. Um, so it's exciting because um, their, first, their first official time in the Gold Soccer Center uh, will be on Christmas Eve, which is gonna be really cool. They're gonna have two services there, 3.30 and 5.30. Uh, and just a great time together. It'll be their first time in the space as we've uh, completed some of the work and had some fresh paint put on the walls and some stuff like that. Um, but one of the things that we're really excited about is that in January 7th is going to be their first official Sunday there. Um, they're gonna move their start time to 10 a.m. And, uh, and it's just gonna be a great ministry space for them to use through the year. And, uh, and so we're excited about what's to come. Pastor Matt and Amanda have some great things uh, planned for the year, and that's exciting to hear about. Um, just, just actually met with them a little bit ago today and just have heard some of the plans, and they're putting some great stuff together. So really excited about what's to come uh, with the campus. But one of the questions that I get asked probably the most right now this time of year is, is really about... Um, funding and how are we going to fund especially the build out at the farm. So I wanted to give you just a little bit of an update on that. So what we've been praying about um, over this year, we've had a team of people that's worked on um, some capital campaign conversations and we've kind of worked through a good chunk of this year honestly together. And, uh, and what we're going to do is later in 2024, our entire church is going to launch into what we call a two-year discipleship journey. And on that two-year discipleship journey, we are going to be casting some vision about what we believe and how we believe God is leading us into the future. And, uh, and so our big goal for that is that every person would participate in that discipleship journey. But it will also be the way that we talk about funding uh, that vision, which is more than just our building here um, at our new space at the farm. But how are we going to fund that vision as we move forward? Um, and that stuff's going to come later in 2024. So just hang on for that. You'll hear more about it as we even start the year. But I know that some of you have been asking the question, well, how can I give now? Maybe you've been waiting to give. You've been waiting for some information. And of course, it's the end of the year. And so this is a great opportunity for you. Uh, if you've been waiting to give towards the building out at the farm, I want to just invite you to do that. You are more than welcome to give towards the building fund. 
Uh, if you give online, you can go to the drop down menu and it has the building fund in there. And so you can give towards that. You can drop a check in the mail for that. And we've recently had some people that have even um, given us some stocks for us to be able to cash in and do some things with. And I know people get some kind of tax in incentive as they do that. So there are some ways that you can give towards that and we welcome that. Um, we wanna say thank you for those that have been waiting and, and maybe you've even been saving up to be able to give towards that. And uh, we know that God has great things and he's gonna use that for, for his glory as we get moving on this project next year. So it's gonna take a little bit of time after the first of the year, but we hope sometime towards the summer that we'll be able to start construction out here at the farm. So guys, thank you so much for all that you do. You are what makes Cornerstone Cornerstone. We would not be who we are without you, without the way that you love people and greet people and the way that you give, you're so generous with that. And we just thank you for that. I look forward to worshiping together on Christmas Eve. In Old Town, we have three services, one at 10.30 in the morning, and then two in the afternoon at 3.30 and 5.30. Bring somebody with you, don't come alone. Uh, so bring some of your friends and neighbors to come to that. Our Okatee campus is having two services, one at 3.30 and one at 5.30 in their new space at Goal Soccer Center. It's just gonna be a great and lovely time together as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. So I hope that you have a great weekend and I can't wait to see you on Sunday.